Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, I'll be talking about how you can convert your existing Cypress test that you have written into playwright test with the power of artificial intelligence. If you remember in our last video, we discussed about how you can convert a Selenium test as playwright test with csharp.net using artificial intelligence and with the chat modes of Visual Studio Code GitHub Copilot over here, as you can see. This was so much of attraction in the community and everybody was asking me like, how can we try using this kind of ability to convert the entire test into the playwright test, not just for the existing test, which is written in X unit or N unit, but also in BDD based fashion and also to have an extended reporting and also to use the CI CD pipelines and everything over there. That's really, really true. You can do every single thing using this particular chat mode and it is going to make your life even more easier. As you remember, we also discussed that using this particular chat mode, you can also uh, do the installation of the playwright. You can also uh, write the code in a way that you wanted to write, like uh, the style that you wanted to write, like a coding pattern that you wanted to follow. And also, what are the locator type that you need to use while selecting a specific locator on the UI as opposed to how it was written in Selenium. And we also discussed like how the code needs to be written for the test automation codes and something like that. So we discussed every single thing on that particular video. If you really not watched it before, I highly recommend you to watch it in our Azure Automation YouTube channel. It is already there. Well, as that said, now the next question that everybody was asking in the community was, how do we convert the Cypress test into Playwright test automation? And that's something I have written something like this as you can see over here and that's what i'm going to be discussing about over here and i'll show you how you can actually achieve it the idea is pretty much exactly the same way like how we wrote earlier as well but just that in here we are going to see how we can uh we can just convert the selenium test into playwright test so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just write the same exact chat mode that we were writing before so i'm going to say dot uh, github over here and then i'm going to say chat mode so i'm going to create a folder here called as chat modes and within this chat modes folder i'm going to create a file and this time i'm going to name this as cypress to playwright dot chat mode dot md file so you know that this is a markdown file that we have to create and the moment we create this you are going to see this file over here like cypress to playwright as you can see over here right and now let me also try to rename this by adding some logos if we wanted to for the better readabilities and things so i'm going to say like this and instead of Cypress 2 Playwright, we can also add an arrow there. So it, it makes even more better, as you can see. And then we can also add some testing uh, icons and logos over here. So you see that the agent is more colorful. The way that you can actually look at it is pretty good, uh, as you can see over here, right? So this is the Cypress test that I have got over here. And if I'm going to run this particular Cypress test, it is just going to work without any hesitation. So if I'm going to open the terminal over here and over here, I just have to do like NPX uh, Cypress uh, and then I'm going to say run uh, and then I'm going to say the spec file and then the uh, cypress.entrentest.spec.cy.js uh, over here. And the moment I do it, you can see that the Cypress tests are going to be executed. And this is just going to work pretty much like how you run it in the Cypress test. So I'm not going to explain how Cypress test works and how you run the test. This is how you actually run the Cypress test over here. And you see that the code is just going to work for you. There is going to be one failure in this test and it was intentional. I want to do see whether the same thing is going to happen while well, I'm going to convert it with the playwright test as well. So you see that it is already working. The tests are working for us over here, which is cool. And now I'm going to convert the exact similar test into playwright test and I'm going to see how this is going to work and see that this is the uh, this is the test file that I have got over here and these are the tests that we have got around 135 or 140 lines right and now I'm going to write this particular prompt over here which is going to be looking something like this this is a bit more bigger prompt because I have added a lot more detail in this particular prompt this time so that the agent can be reused in many different way and you can see that it's going to say that this is the agent to convert the Cypress test code to playwright test in JavaScript and TypeScript. The agent maintained the test structures, functionality and test logic while modernizing the playwright auto waiting mechanisms and modern API patterns, including support for the BDD Cucumber conversion. Look at that. But also write the test even with the BDD fashion as well, which is the powerful thing over here. The tools are also supported over here. So if I'm going to go on and select the tools, you can see that only specific tools are going to be selected if I'm going to choose this particular uh, agent. So if I'm going to choose this particular um, chat mode, if I'm going to go to the tools, 
Only specific tools are going to be selected, which is pretty awesome. We have already seen that before in our earlier videos as well. And you can see that uh, uh, I'm going to especially saying the prompt here that you are a JavaScript TypeScript test automation converter and expert in migrating the Cypress based test code to Playwright test. And you are specifically transforming the Cypress test implementation, blah, blah, blah. And this is the check that it's going to do. It's going to go and check the package.json file. And then it's going to understand the Playwright test package. Uh, and then it's going to go and install it. Uh, and then it's also going to uh, do the Cucumber installation because we're also going to run the test in Cucumber. And then there is a Playwright BDD for the modern uh, uh, BDD libraries. And there is a uh, project structures. And this is the Cypress test structure. It's going to understand. It's going to convert the test to the Playwright test. It's going to create a folder for that as well. And it's going to do all of these over here. These things look pretty much exactly like how we wrote earlier uh, in our uh, Selenium test code as well. If you remember, like this is this is the same kind of pattern of the code. Uh, the prompt is written over here as well. You may feel like this pattern seems pretty much exactly same way like how it was discussed in our earlier video as well. Like how Karthik have you written this kind of code? If you have this question and if you think about that, then you ask the right question. I have actually used the power of artificial intelligence to convert this. Well, I will get to that point later. I'm going to show you how I use the AI to write those prompt for me because I actually used the cloud operation of the GitHub Copilot's agent mode and the cloud agent uh, to do that. So I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But you see that this is already been written over here. Let's try to convert this code and see if the test is going to be converted from Cypress to Playwright or not. So I'm going to go and choose this particular agent over here. I'm going to say convert the tests to Playwright. This is the only thing which I'm going to give over here. And I'm going to probably go and choose the test for the context so that it can use that. And I'm going to run this over here. The moment I run this, it is going to go and read the spec file. And now it is going to go and start converting it. Look at that. It's going to read the cypress.config.js file. And it's reading the package.json. And now it is going to create the playwright test structure. And it's going to do everything for me. So I'm going to wait for this every execution to happen. And we will see how the final code is going to look like. And you can see that it is already converting every test to the Playwright test and is fully converted as well. And this is the uh, Playwright test that you can see over here. There is a auth.js for the authentication mechanism. There is a spec.js uh, spec file for the test which is converted to Playwright over here, as you can see. This is the entire code that we have got. These are locators and like how it is using all of these operations, as you can see over here. So it has actually converted everything to playwright uh, as well and they also see you can see that the locators are also pretty correct over here is using the aria locators as well if it needs to so everything is there and now if i'm going to run this particular test it is going to just work as well see this is what the command that is going to ask me to do so probably i'm just going to blankly follow everything whatever it says uh, so i'm going to say uh, npm install so let's try to do that there we go and now the playwright is installed and we have to do the npm playwright test headed because that's what i wanted to see like how this test is going to run on the ui front look at that it's opening the browser it's going to run the test for me over here which is pretty amazing it is working for us and there is one more browser open in my other window unfortunately and another window it's so it's running so fast over here but it's, it's running all the tests for me over here and finally uh, i'm looking for uh, a report to be generated as well there we go we got the report and you can see that we have got the entire test which is converted executed and we got the full test report as well which is pretty amazing so you see that it's all converted for us over here now you may ask a question saying hey karthik see that this particular test is super simple it's that's the reason why it's just converting what if we have written the framework kind of code and what if we have a very complex libraries that we have used or third party libraries that we have used and if we wanted to convert those kind of operation will this code can do it will this prompt that you have written can do it guess what? It will do it. You just have to address this prompt in a way that you wanted the code to be converted. You need to give enough context to this particular prompt to say that, you know what, these are the custom elements of the code that you wanted to worry about while you are going to convert it to the playwright. So make sure that while you convert this particular code from this to that, 
make sure that you also take this as an account while converting it to Playwright in an equivalent way. And because Cypress as well as Playwright both are in JavaScript world and TypeScript world, it's very easy for the libraries to be more compatible because they are going to be similar as well. So it's very easy for us to see that it's going to be uh, not a lot of conversion error going to happen. Just the Playwright and the Cypress things are going to be different, but the rest of the things are going to remain exactly the same. And now you see that the code is being converted and it's quite amazing. But the BDD test is not being generated. So if I'm going to say, can you generate the BDD tests in Playwright? And I'm going to use the similar uh, agent chat mode over there to do it. And you will notice that it is going to also do that for us because that prompt is being embedded uh, in this particular uh, in this particular chat mode as well to to write the BDD code because I have also made made sure that everything needs to be done there. That's the reason why you can see that the Cypress Cucumber preprocessor and everything is already uh, is already there. Uh, if I'm not wrong, oops, it's not there unfortunately. So hopefully it's going to go and add it right now. So you see that. It is not doing so. It says that I don't see any existing Cucumber BD test uh, so far. So it's going to go and add it for me. So let's just wait again to see if everything is going to be added for us, at least over here as well. And you can see that it has added everything for us over here for the BDD as well. See that Cucumber and the Playwright BDD and like every single thing has been added uh, and which is pretty amazing. And if you don't really want to use Playwright BDD for some reason, then you can also make sure that you can remove it. Uh, but if you really wanted it, then yes, you can use that as well. Uh, and you see that now it has also added that thing for us over here. There's a feature file and the tests are added for us over here which is quite amazing so all the tests are currently being added in the bd format as well and we can run the test based on how this guy is telling us over here so you can just brave enough to run this code and see how that works i'm sure this is going to work as well so this is how we can actually do it but as i told you this particular code is written by our github hq uh, of the github itself so you see that there is something called as github hq I released a video in our Automation YouTube channel about it exclusively. If you have not watched it, I highly recommend you to go and watch there. This particular prompt that you are seeing over here uh, is actually being created by the GitHub chat modes uh, via the Copilot AI. You see that? This is the AI who is writing it for us. So if you just go there, uh, this particular pro uh, pull request, you can see that I have got all of these uh, chat modes being created. One of them is the Cypress to Playwright Converter. And this is the prompt that it has written. And I'm also working with few more of them, like the Playwright BDD scenario to be converted. So you can convert the existing code to the BDD scenarios as well. And you can also write the extent report support for your existing BDD test. So everything you can do it from the chat mode. More videos are going to come up on that. But you see that this is how you do the conversion. So I hope you like the idea of how you can convert your Cypress test to Playwright test. And this is how you actually do it. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.